Friday, the day before the opening day of doe season here in Pennsylvania. And I'm gonna walk around, try to sneak through the woods. Uh, a few people are out. Deer still pretty pressured. Uh, went out with Danielle um, there uh, a couple days ago and the deer were all holding really tight. So as you can see up through here, we just had this logged. Um, the deer like to lay in the slashings. I'm gonna break down, then hit the big woods down below where it's really open. And I'm gonna be specifically looking for deadfalls, trees that have fallen over by the wind, that have di died and fallen over. Um, and there's lots of rocks around here. So I'm gonna be looking around these rocks. I'm gonna be looking at the low uh, brush uh, spots. I'm gonna be looking for very steep valleys uh, and little plateaus that uh, the terrain is very hilly yet rocky and it's it's not just straight up and down in some places uh, they level off in steps so those deer like to lay there I'm gonna use the wind to my advantage I'm gonna take time and be very quiet everything's sort of wet here we had a lot of snow it's starting to melt and see if I can sneak up on uh, hopefully uh, some bucks and uh, this is just a time where you know I'm not really actually planning on shooting anything uh, this is sort of just uh, I want you to follow along and watch uh, how I hunt uh, these pressured deer and we'll see if we can find anything Look at all the dead falls. This is right below where they logged, opening into big open woods. And uh, they like to bed through here, but I'm gonna come up around where it's a little bit um, open and circle around this. And right out in front of me, come this little four point, whatever he was, he wasn't legal, come running right up to me, he was grunting, um, which means I may have bumped a doe out and he was bedded in here got up to chase that doe, didn't know where she went, and I don't know if he saw me because he come running right out to me, and then all of a sudden, boom, he got close, he's like, you don't look right. <laughs> and he still wasn't too worried because I wasn't moving, and then he just went back and went down over, so um, I'm gonna keep sneaking out around here. Boy, that would've been something if a big buck would've run right up to me, and I would've had that all on camera too. Right here's a perfect thing you need to look for. Right here, big giant tree fell down. And look, right here, you have a rock. It can hide the deer. And that deer, all he needs to do is the wind's blowing this way. So as the wind is blowing over the tree, he doesn't have to try to look through the tree. He'll just smell you if you're coming behind him. And then he has all of this open area out in front of him to watch. So the deer will usually be bedded here and look this way, he can look up, he can look towards me. He doesn't have to look through the tree because the wind is blowing this way and he'll smell the scent of anyone sneaking up behind him as it moves through the tree. So, just things to pay attention to when you're out deer hunting.
probably wondering how in the world there he got up and ran but you're probably wondering how in the world I even saw that deer um what what my eye caught first was color color was the first thing that I saw and what I mean by that is I was looking down into uh, the valley there's a lot of hemlocks and all of a sudden something just looked lighter in color than everything else around it and to be honest when I first saw it I thought it was a dead deer um, I couldn't even make out a face couldn't even I didn't even know it was a buck it looked like a deer and I could only see part of it I thought it was like maybe behind a tree I actually thought maybe it could have been t part of a, a tree that fell down and it was a lighter part of a tree that that landed on the ground and that was just a piece of it laying there so in order for me to figure out what it is I don't carry binoculars with me my video camera is my binoculars so I zoomed in and that's when I saw that little buck looked like a little six point he's not legal uh, here in Pennsylvania unless you're a youth um, he's only legal for a youth hunter uh, he'll be a nice buck next year as a two-year-old he looked like he was only a, a year and a half old buck uh, but that's kind of odd he's down in the bottom it's very windy it's super super crunchy these deer are not moving I mean there's no other deer around him he's not chasing does or any the, the big ruts already over these deer are back into survival mode so these deer are pressured I just caught a glimpse of him and that is probably a hundred yards through the woods um, and I, I actually spot it stopped flipped the camera turned on took a couple steps back and then uh, threw the camera on it and uh, but uh, that's a good sign that uh, I think I seen that buck not long ago uh, pretty much right here in the same area I snuck up on him walking out this logging road that I'm on right now uh, so they're not really moving that far A lot of this hunting is about knowing your land that you're hunting. I can walk around rather fast because I'm sort of getting to point A and point B where deer might be. And so you can do different things depending on how well you know your property. made a big loop 